Welcome back to Hot Plate, the place of super delicious and amazing food. I'm your host, Claire Karatu. And I'm Chef Bennett. We absolutely love being in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we get to cook up a storm and of course we get to teach you guys some simple recipes. Not only that, we get to meet some super amazing Kenyans, uh, some non-Kenyans, uh, but talented people, chefs, um, you know, artists and, and a lot of people that we get to meet in the kitchen get to cook with us. Mm -hmm. If you're joining us for the very first time, then welcome to Hot Plate. You are up for a treat because we're about to just change your cooking game to a whole new level. Uh, basically, all our ingredients are locally available, meaning that you can be able to recreate the meals in your very kitchen. I am excited because I see some taco um, shells over here, uh, which Chef will be telling us what we're making in just a bit. And of course, I'll be showing you how to make pancakes in two ways, the healthy and the absolutely unhealthy, uh, which are the ones <laughs> that I prefer. Right? Right? I crepe and pancake. I love exactly. Any flawless uh, uh, pancakes that I make when I feel like being healthy. Okay. Yeah. So Which you're, doing, is rare. you're doing one healthy one and one unhealthy. Yes, one, one healthy one okay. and healthy yes. one. Yeah. All right. Now, Chef, um, who's joining us on set today? Oh yeah. So joining us is a gospel artist. He goes by the name Manasseh the Slum Kid. Yes. And he's butchered it today. Yes. Karibu, karibu. Please welcome, 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 <laughs> welcome. Yo, 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 yo. Thank you so much for joining us on set today. We're excited to have you. Thank you, thank Karibu you. Sana. Asante. Chef is busy getting something for you to drink, so you'll please have a seat Asante there for sana. us. Yes. And of course, now we will begin, you know, talking about the journey, which is your gospel music. Ye, ye. Yeah. Hey, my journey is so long, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's long, sana. We've got time, we've got time. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> but I have to keep time back at you. So, sorry, thank you so much. Yeah. Had you always known that you're going to be a gospel artist? Actually, my mom used to tell me that I was the noisiest in our family. Mm. Yeah. So, I think the noise is the musical. It's, it's the musical aspect <laughs> yeah. that came out, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And when did you first start saying, was it something that came out of the church? Choir, you know, is it something that started from there or was it something? that you just gained interest for at older age? Actually, actually singing, I think it's something that uh, started way back in uh, Sunday school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I used to be a guy when I was in Sunday school, and I said, who was a memory of us? I would be the first one. <laughs> then singing, so there, there is a song actually which wa made my mama to trust me that I can be a singer. Eh. In the army. Ah, yeah. So there is the part that that guy, I don't know even the name of the guy who's actually <laughs> singing, but there is a part where he raps. And I mean, I say, I'm a soldier in, in the, the army. army. Yeah. I'm a soldier in the army. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I used to put it in my own way. Yeah. Ah, nice. yes. And that was that. <laughs> It was just awesome. Man. It was. I can imagine. Now, I'm always very inspired whenever I see um, young adults, you know, yeah. um, remaining faithful and remaining in the walk. It's not easy, especially in this day and age, because you tend to be influenced very easy. Yes, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. And how, and even with our music, I mean, our artists in the, in the gospel industry, yes. it's more for the music than rather for telling the word. Yes, sure. uh, so how do you differentiate the two? Okay, first of all, uh, my genre is dancehall, reggae yes. dancehall. Yes. And uh, first of all, when someone is to reggae dancehall, first of all, what rings in your mind is yeah. maybe the, the things the that... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The rape. <laughs> but for me, the reason why I decided to do dancehall music, first mm. of all, is uh, my target is mostly for the youths. Okay. Because I come from the slums. Yeah. That's why I call Manasse the slum kid. Hey. The slum kid represents the slums. Yeah. And uh, Ukienda Kwa slums, first of all, the music that people listen to mm. is reggae dancehall. Yeah. Okay, worship has a good message. Right. Yeah. But our okay. sisters, Masimasika, mm. Christina Shusho, mm. want a message poor. Mm. But the youth, you cannot get that youth to come and ask Masimasika. And attack your dance hall. Mm. So I thought, what if I put a positive message to Yongo Maya dance hall? Yo, yo, youth, and attack. Mm. So that's how I, I, I took, uh, like, I give them the, the same, same rhythms, but yes. I give them a positive message. Mm. So I that what is Kiza, they get Kiza. something. And who said gospel music has to be boring? I mean, right now yeah, yeah, there's yeah. people doing trap gospel, sure, sure, you sure. know, just switching the game up. You're staying up with the times, yes, right? Yes. Sasa, back to basics. Who pika? Ra! Mara yo yo. Hey! Who pika? Na pikanga lakini, sasa unajua menu ya leo, ni tajaribu ni lekele za pika. Usijali. Chef atakuelezea step by step ya vitu ambavu unafaa kufanya in the kitchen today. But meanwhile, kabla tuwanza tutakuuliza, please wash your hands right there. Because we are about to make a... Chef, ulisema tunatangu za nini? No. Bado. What are we making, Chef? So today we're doing a chicken, rice and bean burrito. Hey, tunaika mchele kwenye burrito? Bas. 
Pascual. Lazima iko nayo. Lazima. Yeah. Burrito. Yeah, burrito. And why does it always have to have a, a beans jamini? Why is so Mexican dish nini? So Lazima they, are... they usually call it chili. Bas. The chili kwa hivyo now we're going to make it with without the minced meat. Yeah, so we're going to do the chicken. With chicken instead, yes. and right? Then, uh, rice tapika kando and then we'll mix the chicken and the beans. Right. And then we'll just like assemble it at the end. Please join Yo. us right mm. here. Karibu man, karibu. All right, so chef, chef. if you are to say <laughs> wopika kitu ama ku enjoy yani kukula, <laughs> what would that be? kama nataka kwenye hebu nione mzee unajamini mluya so kakuko kakuko kingo kanaingia now that's what we're having today but transia na yangu sio chef wataka kuweka mchele kwenye yes so na boil we'll just put this one cup of rice yeah Okay so basically guys what I'm doing is I usually use the um the breakfast oats which tend to be a lot smaller uh the breakfast oats come in very small size so we have these large oats you come open the oats what wengi open the oats oats manzizi ni sawa muhimu tunazipiga hata kazi kwa pale kwa slam kwa pale ghetto the mtu oats manzana akulizioni nini jamaa anataka tu pale dondo yake safi na chapa na kuzata baba oats hapo anaipiga tu this is a healthier alternative guys to making breakfast in the morning if you don't want to make um that that porridge that most people don't enjoy you can just make this and it will still come out perfectly fine all right so what i got here is about um three quarter cup of oats i've crushed some and I've, uh, some have remained whole and it's going to be literally our base or rather our our flour mm. right kwa hivyo hapa tutachukua mandizi you're the one who's doing the mashing of the banana please banana. put a banana in there uh, and we're going to mash up uh, right and the size manzee ni spige nini size kubwa ndogo eh ah yote weka weka yote that's what i was looking for <laughs> thank you chef and what you're going to do is 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 just peel that peel? off yes okay. just the whole of it right and then drop, dump the whole of it in there and then chef amekupa mash up uh, okay. mash up na hiyo yeah okay. All right now as that is going uh, I think I'll start preparing the batter for the other one which I Is it the healthy one or the unhealthy? This is the unhealthy. Uh, huh? uh, I smash one. No, to put two in there. Two. Put two and then just two actually one and a half because they're pretty big, yeah. Okay. Put one and a half in there. Now, this is my recipe for my mid and I think I've done it before here, but mm. this time we're going to do it with a little bit of a twist. Uh you can put a stuffing in there to make it as a dessert, serve it with some ice cream, mm. comes out absolutely beautifully. Mm. Or you can have these for breakfast. Now, what I normally do is I put a cup of flour in there straight. I always start with the dry ingredients. Yeah, that's okay. Mush up, mush up, mush up kabisa. Like this? Yes, yeah, mush up. <laughs> Don't be shy, mash it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And then what I'm going to put is I'm going to put a quarter cup of sugar. Mm. Um the reason why I don't put a lot of sugar is because we're going to sweeten it with a lot of other things. Give that a mix a little bit. And then I'm going to take a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt in in most of these doughs zio saidia sana kuleta hiyo ladha yani the flavor that comes from the pancake absolutely delicious, yeah. yeah. All right, that's looking good guys. If you're just joining us we're making two types of pancake, that's the healthy and the non-healthy. Well, I wouldn't really say non-healthy, I'd just say it's super delicious. Yeah. <laughs> right? And 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 what we're going to do here is we're going to I'm going to ask you to add two eggs to that. Two, two eggs to that. Yes. Right. Um now Jim's that is going so I've got my dry ingredients there. What I'm going to Before is smash sana. So we put in the eggs? Yes, put in the eggs. Yeah, put okay. in the eggs. Mm. Two eggs. Ingine la fonde le kukong. Nice. All right, love that. Now guys, I have the um dry ingredients which is self-raising flour. Mm. I've got sugar. I love to put iliki, dried cardamom. Unaita tu huko ndani. That helps with the flavoring so much and also just a pinch of cinnamon straight into that. These I'm telling you you'd enjoy them just as is. Now at this point is where I put in a cup of milk. I love mine completely runny mm. because that's what differentiates it from a thick pancake and um you know uh and a mid of a thick pancake and a crepe. All right, how are we looking there? Good? Good? Good. Ni kosawa tu, ni kosawa tu. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to add in the oats. Aya, kwa hivyo sasa changa just use this to mix up, yeah. All right, thank you. And just mix up the oats. I want to see the consistency. You want almost like a batter. So the oats are going to soak in that egg, soak in that banana. Um just keep going. I'm going to add a couple of more. And the thing about this is is I love the small if you have the smaller oats then that would work perfectly. Mm. All right guys so I'm basically just mixing in um let's see as a blend but 
Unaweza zi blend. You know what? Why did you, you know what? I am I just thought about it now. Right, right. Okay. That's actually fine. I think the consistency is perfect. Yeah. And um, um there will be some bite into it. So. Exactly. Yeah. There's going to be a little bit of a chew into that. All right. So this is basically my butter mm. which I've added milk. Now this is the consistency that I'm telling you guys that is needed. It's mm. very runny. Um and at this point is where you're going to add in your two eggs. Right, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna drop it again, guys. Don't do what I do. You wanna break the egg, separate from the bowl, right? Otherwise, you make you just mess your whole batter. Mm. All right, so two eggs have gone in there. Now, this is a secret that I was always taught by my mother you wanna put the eggs last. This is what helps with that perfect. That looks actually pretty good. Is it? Yes, that looks amazing. We're gonna let that sit for a while. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the um the heat for you oh wait sorry i'm turning on the wrong one i'm gonna turn on this one for you and uh, we're gonna put some oil in there and then i'll show you just how to scoop that on the out uh, <laughs> 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 All right, guys, if you're just joining us, we are joined by a talented uh, gospel artist, Manasseh. The Slam he Kid. Will, the Slam Kid, and he will be sharing with us a little bit of his music. And of course, we have been getting to know a little bit of his journey. We basically started off with the pancake batter, um, which we will. Um, be cooking now and then chef has some amazing tacos you'll be showing us how to make now chef utushai tengen is a easy taco shells beleni yeah we have uh, but you can be able to get that um in the supermarket mm. they're in the supermarket as well yeah so so we say sembe kaingo ho yeah kaingo ho pale ndo tumezoea yeah kigongesha hivi unajua the day at least umekula hiyo siku ni sababu mbaya hizi vitu za wa mchele mchele hapo hiyo ni appetizer right all right now guys tuna nini hapo umefanya nini na hii nime smash hapo tumandizi sasa sijui iji iko na jina hii it's just an oat pancake. Oh, oat pancake. Oat pancake. Okay. You know what I'm going to do just to make sure that the texture is fine? Yes. Chef, can I... Uh, no. Yeah, I think I'll just uh, chop this up. I <laughs> quick, quick thinking. <laughs> I'll chop this up just to add a little bit more texture. Um, and this is just basically breaking them up. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to ease in the soaking of those eggs. And it's going to add to the thickness of the batter that we've made. The apple is naruka ruka. Where is the apple? At least. Ivi, eh? Nila nila nizi. Eh, eh. kisu hapa? kisu. Eh, eh. There you go. You're a professional. <laughs> professional in the making. <laughs> By the way, kaka kuna tunachukia. Kuna time nilifanya job kwa China manze. Only one nipea job ya kukata kata pilipili. Wa. Akia nani? That's the worst job in my family. How did you make it? But you still managed to kona lia lia. Unafanya hivi na sneeze manze na sneeze umalize uweke kwa pan. Crazy, eh? Manze. All right. Now guys, we have heated our pans as he's chopping that and this is basically the consistency that I needed to be see super runny. I've made a mistake because you need to make sure that your pan is completely hot. Uh but that's fine. The first one is always the It's always the test run. Test run, guys. That looks absolutely perfect. Once that's crushed through, mm -hmm. no, 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 continue with the those other ones. Yeah, then we'll place that in there. Okay. Right? So one of the pans are going. Mm. Um, and then Chef will be telling us what he needs Manase to help him with next. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, you do not want to make the same mistake I have. Wait for the pan to get completely hot. Mm. Um, because literally, it takes seconds to make it when the pan is completely hot. Mm -hmm. You literally just want to pour the batter and then flip it and it's completely done. Mm. All right, so meanwhile, uh, as we continue with this process... Yeah, back guys, and this is Hot Plate. Joining us is Manasseh the Slum Kid. Go, and go. they were making two types of pancakes, which... Right. The healthy version and the sweetest version. Now, <laughs> I already huh? love the way it looks. This is the consistency you want, guys. And if you've noticed, we have put no sugar in here whatsoever. Right? That's okay. a first for me. For first for right? Me. <laughs> yeah, so the sugar. bananas are what's going to act as the sugar. Mm. So what we're going to do is, the best thing about these pancakes is you can actually make a so couple. So say, yo, coming. A pana, mm. yo, jazz. Please flip for me that other one, chef. <laughs> Thank you. Before it cooks real quick. It cooks real, real mm, quick. Son. Right? Just lift it, lift it, because it's going to burn. Lift the pan up. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm just placing two on there. Actually, like, we can even do three, just to make sure that we make a couple um, in time. And um, what this does is, in a, when you does it flip, sasa. Uh, you just watch them, 
and then you will flip them. So we're gonna wait for them to cook. There's some oil on there. Mm -hmm. Then you flip them, mm -hmm. right? Oh, chef, that actually looks pretty good. Here you go. There's your spatula. And of course, guys, uh, we will be ha. making some tacos after a bit. Mm. And Chef will be telling us how to do that. Why did you scream? You like tacos? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? You like yeah, tacos? Yeah. You're about to find out just how good Chef makes Actually, them. I eat ta is it ta ta tacos. Ta ta tacos, yeah. Tacos. Yeah, I actually, Oscar the Juggler made me eat for the first time ever. Mm. Yeah. I think a month ago. Oh, wow, uh, nice. Just, uh, you go fresh. Uh, hey. you go fresh and yeah. now, Chef, where do they originate from? Uh, Mexico, the States. Right. Uh, those are states of we adapt to it. Yeah, they yeah. just so adapt everyone to has it. their own style of making it now. Okay. Mm. All right. So, uh, what do you what are you gonna start with, Chef? Okay. So we're gonna make kachumbari kwanza. Okay. And then we can finish up with the chicken. Do it. I take a long time. All right, now this is just something that I like to do. I like to fold them into quarters uh, for purposes of plating. Um, if you're serving too many, then you don't necessarily have to plate this way. I just love to do it this way. Uh, in terms of presentation, it's easier for my kids to just pick their own, right? Mm. Yours take a little bit more yeah, time because so. they have to cook through. Sure, sure. Yeah? Uh, but you want to keep watching that because at the end of the day, you don't want that to burn. Let me help you there, sure. right? So what you want to do is just, just, yeah, this is ready. You see, yeah, you just flip that, mm. yeah? Sure, sure. And, and and you can see the consistency is different, the texture is different, yeah. but bado ina piki kakama pancake ngewe, yeah? And I'm gonna show you how to make these healthy treats a lot more tasty. Mm. A lot of people wanna ask you healthy, wanna wanna fikire na faa kuonja vibaya, you know? <laughs> and the healthy doesn't mean disgusting, healthy just means healthy. Yeah. Meaning less sugar, you watch the calories, you watch the quantities, right? Yep. All right, chef, umeanza po na vitungu. Yes, so okay. I'm just gonna dice this one zaraka raka. Yeah. Then we can start with our chicken. Uh-huh. Then we can continue. Okay, all right, so manasi acha nkupatia yes. lida po. Tuifunike, doipike ka ibu. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right, now Manasse, being in the music industry mm -hmm. so far, yes. how many years have you been in it? Uh, yani I think, professionally, uh, I think pro mm -hmm. professionally for the first time, my first professional video was in 2015. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, studio. Yeah. Hey, na wa Yamaha, uh -huh. Tunenda kwa TV station to me jaza manze hita kwa hit. <laughs> but production manze ilikuwa chini to kiskizi ngo You have to start somewhere. Hey, manze, That's no one's the man. Hey. It's fine, right? <laughs> All right, now how has the industry been? Is it is it something that's easy to penetrate or have you found it very difficult? Yani yani muziki yako I chase we by the time atamtu na kusaidia tafash. How has it been? Yeah, it's kuwa easy. It's kuwa easy sana because me use ma Kila kitu kwanza first of all you must go out for. Let's move to it. Then first of all, favor God he grew upon you. Unajua. Exactly. You know, kuna msa angu, you know, mimi use ma and this story ata the best angu ali fumuka just a few days ago to your Bible study. Eh. You know, mimi ni kwa namspeaki ya ni msa na juli kana size mbaka waso ezi amini. Wow. Mimi ni kwa namu inspire to Jabidi. Yeah. Yeah, Jabidi you know, kuna time ilifika ni ali kuasha to angoma. Zimenda pale, but you know, you are told you are not make it. Mm. But I just told him, Mazo, that you are not going to come. If you come, you will not be able to come to the industry. You will not be able to come to the industry. Exactly. Because he will come to the favor of God, he will come to the favor of God, and he will come to the favor of God. So you can deny his song. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you will come to the time of God. Yeah. Yeah, I will come to the time of God. So I will come to the time of God. Yeah. Actually, I will come to the time of God. Yeah, like two years. Yeah. Yeah, I will take two break na jaribu kuuliza sasa okay this music unajiuneza depend on music alone exactly ni nini unahitaji kufanya ndio at least unajua kuna bills za kupay exactly what can you do na unajua yeah. um, problem moja ni maona na sisi wasanii unajua tunataka ukishaonekana pale kwa tv wewe ni star uh. unataka hiyo ustar yani i maintain yeah. eh, ujajua kuna kama hujapata show manzea una do yeah. exactly. na kuna bills lazima exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah so unataka ku keep up na hiyo stardom mm. na bado bills manze finances na kuitaji exactly yeah so hiyo uh, break yangu nilitake na nikaanza kufanya kitu kama job yeah, yeah nikaanza kufanya job god alikuwa amefungua kawei pale hivyo nikaingia job tu yenye wase yani where you meet everybody yeah yeah mm. but siku usiku ogopa that's amazing yeah, yeah, and sure. that's sorry, a sorry. journey that's fine yeah. and that's a journey that i feel a lot of people do not mention sure. and they want the, the success overnight success but yes. it doesn't happen like that mm. it's usually progress sure, and sure. you have to keep your faith as well
well yeah. and you have to keep pushing as well yeah all right so manasi i'm gonna give you a plate to just yes. drop those mm -hmm. uh because they're pretty much just done mm -hmm. And then umona vile vile ambayo nimefanya ndio utafanya sasa that was just uh, just so to demonstrate you can just put it over here on okay. the side because you're about to pour in a new batch na kuongezea nini na kuongezea mafuta and then you do exactly what i have done uh, yes utaweza <laughs> utaweza <laughs> <laughs> so is uh, so gonna spread spread that oil all through the pan. Mm -hmm. Sorry, just a little bit. Uh huh. And then and then where is the other the other <laughs> butter? Kijiko ndio hiyo spoonfuls uliona vile nili flatten kiasi. Yeah. So you got to flatten it just slightly. You got to ni mbili ama tatu. Eh. Yeah. All right guys, now chef, please explain to us what you're doing. Kwa kitu dadu ni unataka kitungu. Unataka kitungu. Na vitungu vyenyewe unakata mingi, mbona? So see for the salsa and some for cooking. So you pick and you shake a candle. Okay, salsa ni hey, look at that. Kachumbari. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> salsa no, 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 is kitungu. Kachumbari. So. Kachumbari, sorry. Yeah. Kachumbari. Kachumbari, kachumbari. All right, so I'm basically just finishing off the last batch of pancakes. So is he. Uh, chef is gonna tell us what we're required to do next, as I just wash my hands there. Okay. Place this on the side. Now, chef, you said tacos originated from where exactly? Uh, this is a. Uh... Mexican delicacy. It's a Mexican Chapoyao dish. Chapoyao, yeah. yeah. Now, uh, uh, the difference between a taco, a uh, uh, burrito, mm -hmm. and uh, what is the difference? Because sometimes you see people will tell you it's a taco and then the shell is hard and crispy. Yeah, so see, they are hard tacos. Yeah. This made from the same tortilla. Okay. And for a burrito, is a closed sandwich. Okay. But a and taco is an open sandwich. Is an open sandwich. Yeah. And what's the difference between um, that tortilla wrap and and this one? Like um, the taco, what is it called? Shell. Mm -hmm. Because yes, we make a, we make a Yeah. So if you have these ones, you can just put them in the oven. Mm. So you can design plenty of the of that's those triangles. Yeah. Which you, yeah. Armor, you can use the rack. Uh huh. Which can design yeah, the taco shell. Ah. And then just let them dry up. Right. And then you can just eat them Oh, okay. Mm. That's very interesting. How are we going there, Banase? Yeah, my name is Nico Parada. Uh huh. Parada. Uh huh. 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 Uh the salsa to be too soggy. Mm. Uh, do you in effect well? Because you don't want it like iraruwe irap. Okay. You get kakitu wet na raruwa. No, you don't want that. So the drier the better. Yeah. So na to izu zakati kati. Okay. All right, now, uh, guys, we are joined by Manase, as we did mention earlier. We call himself the what? Manase, the slum kid. The slum kid. Wow, <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, we actually appreciate the fact that you're in here doing doing your thing. Um, so we, we are going to ask you to hit us with one of your um, your songs. Yeah, yeah. Okay, one song. Kwanza pale na duwe ni goda ni pati afeva kidogo. Kenda inetua Godly Love. Yes. Yeah, you know this song, it will be to love your God, yeah. Yes. Mm. In that time, you know, you may go to you may travel, you may go to the job. So, you can tu Romans 8.31. Right. Yeah, man. In a name, you for what shall we say, if God is with us, yeah. who can be who against can us? Who can be against us? Yeah, mm. your verse, daily I read that verse, I read that verse. Yeah. Kabisa, and it's, there's a lot of truth to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. A lot of us forget um, forget that there's a higher power who, you know, God who is watching yeah, sure. over us. And and even when He says that you should cast all your cares, so even when you're out there and you should cast all your cares, yeah. it's not just the little bit of it. Nizote ani, zote kabisa. So every time you go out there, you do your thing. You know that at the end of the day, there's somebody watching over you yes. daily, right? All right, hit us with that. Aha, uh -huh. oh, no, 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 yeah. Manase the slum kid again. A slum kid a presenter, yeah. Ah, I want a love. I want a love from the most I got. I did see a love. I want a love. 
I want to love from the most high God. You hear me? Hey, I say, good devil for good devil for good devil for good. I say, my them little talk about a bad good that speak a good and no taxing fill up me. Call him the king. Pull up. Hey, don't stop. All right, now do you write your own music or do you have somebody who helps you with the writing? I do write my own music. You write it completely. 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 Yeah. Ama kitu nimeona kwa best yangu. Hiyo ndo naimba. Right. And a lot of the times what does your music talk about? My music always ni positive vibe. Yes. Kuongea goodness ya God, kuon to teach. Yeah. And to praise be a God. Yes. That is very important. A lot of us forget to praise. We always want the hand of God but never want to praise him, right? All right. So um Flipping those pancakes is what uh, what is happening. They look fabulous. Uh, right? <laughs> right? Zikosao <laughs> Akabisa. You. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to plate the rest on that. I think I'm pretty uh, the much... The same, same place? You place the other? Yes, yes. Just the same plate. Sure. I think I'm pretty much done with this. Mm. Um, pancakes, I'll, I'll cook the rest later because I just want to show you for purposes of plating. And I'm going to let those cool. Now, the reason we let it cool is because we're going to put some ice cream on there. Okay. Right? All right. So, Chef, what do you need Manasseh to help you with since he has... Completed his task, right? Let's need that pan. If this one, I leave it here. Okay. To need panguzi or something. Ako na shida. I apa amai ingine. To me ingine. Yeah, to me ingine. Ni kweke kwenye moto amala. Okay. All right. So pancakes look good. Chef Manasse, Chef, na kuleza utafanya nini kusaidia kutengeneza hizo tacos? Meanwhile, what I'll do is I'll melt some chocolate, and I'm going to use that for our our pancakes. Both the uns, the the healthy, the healthier version, which is the old pancakes, and our normal regular pancakes. Now I've made a cardamom iliki pancakes which I absolutely love to put iliki in my pancakes. It comes out absolutely delicious. Kwa hivyo sasa na jari mkuwa shai, chef. Mwana yeye, hare beka. Mwana ya sumbua. Kanakata. Eh, kanakata. Mewaka. Mwani. All right, and what we're going to do is, again, guys, I always insist, sorry. Are you? Yeah. That you do not do what I do. Chef, I'm going to chop chop. I'm going to do kitchen. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So the mix. The mix too. Because it's all incorporated. I'm going to shake it. All right, now, guys, I always mention uh, do not do what I'm doing. So basically, I have some butter and some chocolate, which I'm going to melt together. And this is dark compound. So this is the healthier version of chocolate. Milk chocolate tends to have a lot of milk and a mm. lot more fat. White chocolate has the most fat that's being added onto that. Okay. Um, but guys, remember, do not do as I do. Mm. Put it on a double boiler. Um, and this will help with melting the chocolate and not burning it because you do not want to change the consistency of the taste of the chocolate. Mm. Yani chef amejaza kachumbari. Kwani kachumbari ndio main main dish chef. Tueleze. I'm a hungry man here. Yeah, you're a hungry man. Let's watch the video. All right, so uh, mixing that now, chef. Mm. Yes, you can use lemon. If you don't have lemons, you can use vinegar. Vinegar. Kwa hivyo wewe umeka nini? Utaka vinegar. Utaika vinegar. So, kiasi tu. Kikoroga hiyo. Mhm. Tutaongeza chumvi, some black pepper. Right. And we'll season. It's quite bland. Okay. Now, guys, this is something that I don't normally do, but I will add a pinch of salt to our chocolate as well. Why? It just brings out the flavors. Don't ask me. Sometimes I do it. Um, you ever have, uh, even with like caramel, the way you add just a pinch of salt just mm. to make sure you balance it out. Uh, so I'm just going to add just a pinch of salt. And sometimes I put chilies in my chocolate just mm. to make okay, sure yeah, that... that can work. <laughs> yeah, the chilies in chocolate, right? All right, so basically I've, I've reduced the heat. So now it's just melting in its own um, heat there mm. so that you don't continue you to burn the chocolate um sorry <laughs> mm. ah, yeah. and um chef because a lot of times it's actually advisable to put like a little bit of salt in there yeah right okay so that's what we're gonna do now we're gonna Actually, I'm going to eat it, so you won't know the difference. Okay. 
All right, guys. So basically, um, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna start to plate our pancakes. Mm. Um, this is just for uh, purposes of presentation. Okay. Um, and then uh, Manasse will be the one who's tasting them, just yeah? to tell us. Yeah, we don't know, Just to tell us um, what he thinks of how they taste. Um, you can put some raisins in this if you want. You can put some raspberries in this. Uh, if you've got any fresh fruits, fresh strawberries, just drop them in there. It is absolutely delicious mm. all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drizzle a bit of that chocolate right on top again remember it is dark chocolate so it still remains healthy right ish <laughs> It still remains healthy ish, <laughs> right? And then to add just a little bit more sweetness, what I'm gonna do for you, Manasse, yeah. is uh, because a lot of people want to taste the sweetness in um, in their food. Uh, but meanwhile, actually, before I get to us tasting and of course, you know, sampling a little bit more of these pancakes, mm. let's go on a short break and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> We are back and this is Hot Plate and as you can see up uh, Islam Kid mwenye hapo anatengeneza kachumbari na malizia na our chicken to me season kidogo so we're just going to put some moto kidogo na pancakes zisha hiva clear mesha decorate hapo believe you yes hizo zingine tunasifanya nini hizo lazima take ice cream tusubiri kwanza umalize na yako ndio niekelee hapo so uh manase meanwhile please kindly come here we need you to sample these pancakes that you've made. Uniambe kama ni kitu ambacho unaweza tengeneza tena. So be as honest as possible. Usipopenda sema mimi sipendi hizo. Labda unapenda hizi zingine. Right? Moment of truth guys, moment of truth. Raya, tadi changamke. Mhm. And you get a bite of everything, a little bit of the chocolate, a little bit of the of the banana, a little bit of the honey. Dip it in the honey just a little bit. The honey, right? Yes. That way. Yes, perfect. A little of the, the banana and then give it a try. Mm. Is it good? Nice, huh? It's good. It's good? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So meanwhile, I'm going to be plating the others. Go ahead. You can, it's all yours. I'm going to be plating the others, then you will be trying them. Nice. Um, a chef has the onions. Please, chef, uh, tell us what you have there. And Manasseh, please join us because you will be continuing with sure. the cooking. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more exciting stuff to come in. It's, it's doable, right? Mm, yeah. For a healthy pancake, it's not sure. disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Please join a chef as he tells you what he requires you to help him with, please. Manasseh. Karibia, karibia. I'm going to So, let's put it in the fridge. Let's chill up with the dog. Then, let's get a cook on the dish. Adi kuku hivi. Kuku? Mm -hmm. so, so yeah. I love these old. Oh my gosh. These old pancakes. Okay. So chef, what has gone on to the chicken? Okay, so some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, peke. Yeah, yeah. No paprika, you know. no nothing. No. This one? Yeah. Koroga. All right. So you basically want to cook this, sear these mm -hmm. at high heat. Mm -hmm. At high heat. And what cut is that you use? Chicken breast, chicken thighs? Chicken breast. You can use chicken them. thighs? You can use chicken thighs. Yeah. And you can also use beef, you can use pork, you can use anything you want. Shrimp. Woo. Shrimp. Seafood. That's my favorite type of taco. <laughs> With that seafood taco, I absolutely love it. All right. Um, a little bit of a mix. <laughs> 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 so basically, Itaki. Itaki. So we don't want to boil it. We just want to cook it. It's seasoned to perfection. Uh, chef, you have your taco shells there. Um, we've got a kachumbari ready. Uh, now, what are we going to do with them beans? We're going to put them in. Oh, really? Nice to share, Eva. So we're going to mix the beans with the chicken. Put some. This is a mixture. Of spices, uh -huh. yeah, fajita spices. Okay. So it's uh, garlic powder, uh -huh. uh, some salt, some black pepper, some onion powder, yeah. some uh, thyme, some basil. Sugar. Eh. Uh, there's sugar that, in there. Sour. There's sugar no in there. Yet. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's sugar in there. I'll tell you. There's sugar. <laughs> there's sugar in there. <laughs> whatever you say, man. Yeah? Okay, so we're gonna put that oh, just yum. to infuse everything. Like that. 
then I would make some home a, fries and sprinkle that on. Yeah, I know. Can you cook it? So good. Mm. I don't know. Where did you get that? In the supermarket? Yeah, this is a small project. Yeah. Yeah, so important to discover. Now. It's absolutely <laughs> delicious. Chef, you have to taste it. Literally. Yeah, I already did it. You tasted it, yeah? <laughs> it's zima. so good. Yeah. Alright, so, do you start a chance? Manasi leo tunakupa kazi. Mi ni koko favorite food. Uko kofe, uko sawa. Hapa ni koko sawa. Uko sawa. Alright. So, well, it's finishing up with that. Yeah. We're just gonna... To show you a pink candy cookie. Mm. And then now we can add the beans. Apple, but then cookie, but it's easy. Okay. Mm, so it's going to be to that. All right. Now, so, Manasse, I'm going yeah. to jump back to you and, of course, your work um, in the gospel industry yes. and in the music industry as a whole, but also uh, being a Christian, mm -hmm. especially a young Christian at that. Yes. Um, um, how has it been? And, of course, you know, you know, we have a lot of cases in the slums. Yes, yeah, sure. You know, um, uh, you know, I'm not going to get into it in terms of, of what exactly it is, but yes. do you have people persecuting you because of the fact that, you know, you're choosing to be uh, this God person? Yeah, yeah. Uh, first of all, Kituneza Sema ni perspective ya watu pale kwa slum. It's so different kwanza being that it's juko na dreadi. Then if you, you just step at a place, yani, unajua, eh, hey, washa kujaji, dreadi, unasema, mm. ah, hii ni gospel gani mna, mm. unasema. So because of one person, Unajua kila mtu anakujaji, you know? Right. Mm. But of which if I kwa hivyo. I fight. I fight kwa hivyo. Exactly. Cause me na believe the people we associate with, we are the, the same ones who can change them. Exactly. Yeah, so that's why I mean I say I will present myself the way I am, the way I can be received by the youth. Mm. Exactly. And give them post the positive message well, they don't yeah. receive. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. I am so excited about that, honestly. Yes. All right, now, Chef, um, down comes the beans. Yes. The beans, the beans. And then we can add now the spices. Mm. All right, so, in goes the spices so straight do into that. Maybe two teaspoons. Mm. Maybe now. Yeah. Because it still has its own salt as well, and yeah. we had seasoned the chicken yeah. earlier on. I didn't season it too, too much. much yeah. yeah. So you don't want to over over season it. Mm. And now in the case that mtu mm. ambaye is pata is spice, where is that again? Is that it? Ah, see, just as I said. So okay, uh, like most of the spices, you love to buy to make this blend. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, salt. Sugar. Gar yes, sugar, garlic, <laughs> garlic powder, powder. Uh, onion powder. Yes. Uh, some oregano, maybe. Mm. Uh, I guess that's about it. Yeah. Uh, I'm not tasting a lot of spices in, but. It tastes amazing. Cumin, yeah. Like, can you kill a kid when you're in the If you can go to like making a fajita, yeah. you can see the spices which are in that blend, so you can make your own from that. Right. Yeah. It tastes honestly amazing. Mm. All right, now um, we've got okay. that almost pretty much mm -hmm. done. So, Chef, what's going to be the next process so we're making this meal? Finish up with some parsley. Parsley. Kama dania. Uh, hey, dania. Ya julika na kama dania. <laughs> dania goes into that. We've made our salsa. Mm -hmm. Now, can you make a, a slaw for this? Yes. You can make can a coleslaw. Make a coleslaw, or you can just cut some. What's it called? Uh, some lettuce. Yeah. Yeah. And which you're going to do that also? Okay. Yeah. So this have like a half or a quarter. Yeah. So we're just gonna dice that kapsa. Come on, bog. Yes, <laughs> love it. Uh, completely in there. I'm mm. just excited because now, chef, what sauces go onto this uh, br uh, uh, wrap? Okay, so you can make some guaco. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can use the guaco or the salsa can act as a sauce. Yeah, uh, yeah. Or you can make your own salsa. Exactly. Yeah. So we're just going to use the kachumbari as our basic and like it's quite too dry. Can you put some uh, mayo on it? No? Maybe put some mayo on this. On that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Maybe put some mayo on the slaw. Yeah. Yes, that would work. Yeah. Please, I have no saliva. You know this, chef. Aye. Aye. Kana kuja mzuri hapa. Kana kuja mzuri. Twendele, twendele basi hivyo hivyo. Uh, we're just making sure that that chicken and the be and the beans have cooked. We put our uh, spices in there. Um, we're just gonna make sure that our slaw has a little bit of, of, of some mayo, just to add as a sauce. If you wanna put some chilies in there, put some chili in your kachumbari, that would come out absolutely perfect. Manaso wana vipi? Na yona fiti hapa. Yona fiti? Yona fiti. Yona fiti. Yona fiti. Home, ni kitoka hapa. Yani, ukipika kuku we mwenye wa ufika kivipi? Ni manze una biyo kwanza, ni uje mbisa kwanza, inachemka inaiva. Lafo kia hapo sasa naanza kukaranga sasa, ile kukaranga mabitu nguu, nini, garlic zote hizo sasa.
All right, now that looks That's pretty much that. Chef, would you like me Adobe. to give you a plate? Just a minute. Yeah? A little bit more seasoning, or that's perfect. Because how I boy All right, that's, now I am excited much. about this. I'm actually going to start clearing out this because I will be putting my scoop of ice cream on that mm -hmm. just to finish it off. So mm. just yeah, that's clear fine. up. Here. Yeah, let's just clear up because Manasasa mm -hmm. Niku Kompai. We're going to put. Yes, we're going to put what's necessary. Wali Ndoi. Sisahau. I'm going to just place this here for you. I love the fact that there's cheese involved. Mm. Now, Chef, this one is served cold, yes? Uh, hot, cold. Uh -huh. Depends on you. Yeah, on uh, your preference. When you have a poesha, you can have it in the kitchen. Because you can have even this like today and have it the next day. Yes. Mm. Okay. All right, Manasse, what is the cheese? Ah. Okay, sour. He's just gonna clear this out for you, Chef. Which place would you like to assemble that? I uh, will do it first down. Okay, over there, just on top yeah, there. Yeah, but you and the food. Okay. okay. All right. So okay. place that on there. So what are we gonna do first? The mm -hmm. Excuse me, can I please also have one? Yeah, you can. Thank you. I'm one. like, what's going on here? Ubaguzi, yameni. Ubaguzi. No, I'm kidding. All right, I'm going to have one. Okay, you can do it in the plate? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sour. So, let's get a spoon here for the rice. Mm -hmm. So, it's going to layer some rice. Chini kwanza. Just make sure we make a flat. At the center? Yes. Okay. Or you can put it smiley up. So, okay. uh -huh. We're going to put the meat. All right. All right, Manasseh, go ahead and do yours. Do your rice, just a spoonful of rice there. And you see, the uh, one thing about uh, this, guys, is I always get carried away with the filling. Yes. And I end up putting too much filling that I, I'm not able to wrap okay. up my taco. Right. So, so you just like... Rationing is important. It's important. Mm. You can always have more. You can always make more tacos mm. later. Mm. Right? Yeah. All right. So, so a little cheese. bit of taco meat over there. So, cheese kidogo. Mm -hmm. And then, sasa una malizia na kachumbari na yo slow. Woo! I'm just, I'm, you see what I mean? <laughs> I'm already going crazy right now, Manase. Yeah, yeah. Be careful. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so. Some cheese right on top. How much cheese is, is enough? Uh, it depends on your <laughs> <laughs> preference. I'm glad you mentioned that. Mm, yeah. Uh huh. I love to some Malaysian name. All right. So a little bit of the kachumbari. Manasi, you can go ahead and then I'll do it right sure. after you. Sure. Okay. So, so cheese. cheese. Yes, cheese. 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 Okay. Yes. Now this is always very fun because of the fact that you can literally have your guests assemble their own mm, tacos. Mm, like I do this for parties when I'm very lazy. Bus. I have my friends, I just put the condiments there and then they and, and they usually they're always like, Claire, this is lazy cooking. I'm like, yes, lazy <laughs> cooking. You do not have to do much, mm, literally. For sure. Right? Okay. So let's make sure everything equals some. So what you do? Mm -hmm. No easy sides. Yes. You don't know, answer now. So na funga ivi. And love una tuck in. Let's make sure you tuck in everything. Now, this <laughs> is where I always have such a hard time. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. All right, <laughs> and then you want to tuck in everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's inspired, it's your first one, yeah. right? And then you want to tuck it in. Mm. And if you've got some skewers, yeah. Uh, just put it side down up. Okay. Since you put some cheese on the oven, right. the cheese melt. Yeah. You can eat it like that. So yes. what are we going to do with ours? Uh, we can just eat like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where is your creation? Uh, yeah, yeah. Place it there. Then you have to go and do it. Right. And that's that. Right. All right. Now I'm gonna ask you to come and taste yours because I'm about to do the same. Let me show you what I normally do. I normally slice mine in half. Right. 
Um, so I'm gonna slice yours for you. Come here, come. Don't worry about it, Manasseh. Moment of truth. Is it? Right? And I'm gonna slice yours for you. So you can just grab, grab your, um, grab your taco. Mm -hmm. My taco. Yes. <laughs> I know, right? And then just take a bite into that. Chef, you're putting yours in the in the oven. Plating. Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna snip it mine because I want to taste it as well. Mm -hmm. Right, look at that. So we've got layers of goodness, right? Why, How is, why it? is you so good? Why did we put chicken? This hour too. This hour too. Ah, uh huh. Mm. There we go. Oh wow. Mm. Mm. Interesting. What's our? Chef, this is delicious. Mm. All Thank right, you. give mine a taste, and then what we're gonna do? Um. It's finish off. Isn't it good? Mm. It's finish off our little uh, dessert that we had there. Mm. All right. So how is it? It's good, good, right? Mm. All right. So we're just gonna finish this off with a scoop of ice cream, which were basically just okay. It's completely solidified, uh, but not to worry. Right on top there. Now you tasted the healthy version. <coughs> you can go ahead and grab the same fork that you use for the healthy version, yes. and try our um, tasty version. <laughs> Mm -mm. Whichever, it's fine. Yeah, it's quite awesome. It's quite awesome? Mm. You have to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I love the fact that it has a little bit of the crunch on the edges. Absolutely delicious. Mm. My favorite way to make uh, pancakes. And um, guys, uh, for those who are tuned in, thank you so much for tuning in. Manasi, thank you so much for joining us today. Absolute blast having you. Thank you so and much. all the best in your music career. We can't wait to see what you have in store mm. for yeah, us. I have a new song, by the way. Okay. It's right. called Church Mode. Yes. Yeah. Guys, go check it out. Auto in the church. Yeah. Auto in the church. Yeah. When you are auto on a flight mode, you can go flight mode on a flight mode. But for church, masimu auto on a mukawadi ki endele. So put church mode. I'm with that. <laughs> Thank you. That's it.